Welcome to the of God as we continue with Job chapter 33. Job chapter 33. For God speaks again and again, though people do not recognize it. He speaks in dreams, in visions of the night, and when deep sleep falls on people as they lie in their beds. He whispers in their ears and terrifies them with warnings. And verse 17 says, He makes them turn from doing wrong. He keeps them from pride. Verse 18, he protects them from the grave, from crossing over the river of death. The Lord is showing us in his word here that he speaks once, twice to man, and man do not what understand. So again, when you look at what are, where we started from, concentration, learning to control your mind, to pay attention, perseverance, persistence, and consistence, it brings now maturity, you start to grow. How did we grow in healing God? The first God that we had is our own parents. My mother, my father, or whoever raised you up was a God. And they had to put a language in your, ma- in your, in, in, in your mind in, and it went in your, in your heart and then you know it. Hearing God becomes so easy that when you are taught well, especially through studying of the word, you will not need someone to tell you. Because when my mother, and your mother, your father, my father taught us the language, they needed not to continue teaching us again. They dropped in us the dictionary of our own mother tongues or our own language. Going to school, we have been taught English. It's not my mother tongue. English is not my mother tongue. Thank God for you who are English people, which is your mother tongue. So I had to be sent to school again to pay for me to learn English. A certain part a certain amount of words was deposited in me. The dictionary was deposited in me for English, and that's why I'm speaking English now. So even hearing God's voice can be taught. That's why we're teaching the Bible at church, is to learn how to hear God's voice, learn how to hear God's word. So after studying God's word, the same words must start ringing in your heart. That is one of the growth that we need. That is one of the growth, spiritual maturity, that shows when you don't need every time to read the bible but you can hear the word of god speaking back to you you find it easy to remember god's word you find it easy to understand what god is saying what god is meaning even when you don't understand but you find it easy to keep it in your heart i know i know a lot of scriptures that i don't understand but the fact is i know that's the truth so god will use it one day for me to understand now how can i keep the scripture that i don't know in me It's because i know some scriptures that means a lot so it is easy for me to keep even the one that i do not want understand so this learning of today this session of today is to hear god's voice by the way of learning hearing god's voice by the way of what learning just like our parents taught us our parents do not walk with us and say you remember this do you remember this i told you this. no we, we eventually become teachers just like most of you if you are telling me i've been in the church for 20 years you're supposed to be a teacher of the gospel you're supposed to teach scriptures even when you are not a pastor even when you are not whoever you're supposed to know the word by now you're supposed to know the word by now you're supposed to be a doctor in the word of God by now. Seven years studying the word of God. It's because I've been lazy. I've been giving excuses. We've been doing it when we want. And now how are you going to improve hearing the voice of God? That's why no matter how much you pray, I want to hear you, God. What are you saying? What? It's, it's, it's difficult. The foundation is not well. It's not well built. It's not structured well. It, it has not been concrete together nicely. It, it, the foundation is weak. The foundation has been weak, child of God. That's why it is difficult. You see, there are these uh, lot of servants of God now. I don't even know if they're servants of God. They, 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 they are taking shortcuts and they want to hear what God is saying. That's why they are they are going to wrong places for them to just tell people. Because now it's a money making thing, and then it is just seeking respect from people on and so forth, and just to show off. It's it's it's, it's that area whereby the foundation has not been laid well, and things have not been taken in the right way in a good manner, and then somebody end up being like that. 
it is also very good and very healthy spiritually for you as a child of God, even when you are not a pastor, you are not by anybody, to know how to hear God's voice. That's why even when someone tells you wrong things about you, you'll be able to tell that this is not right. This is not God's will. This is... But now we just go and let them tell us and let them speak to us. No, you have the right to know. You have the right to know God's voice. So if I speak to you and I'm not using God's voice, it will be easy for you to tell that no. Yes, it's not right. This is not God's voice. If I'm using other spirits, it would be easy for you to tell. Why? Because you have a proper foundation. By now, you're supposed to be a teacher too. By now, you're supposed to be a teacher too. Pay attention this time and grow in the word of God. Grow in the voice of God. God bless you. Shalom.